was lost our shop about six months ago, I think. That closed down, so we haven't got a shop. We get the papers, the new daily newspapers and the bread. Is uh, We get it at the pub. We get a skull, very nice skull. And uh, we go to church in a chapel. And uh, I don't know, we haven't got much, much other things of a lot of interest yet. We're, we'll serve with buses now at the moment. We've had a new venture start up with a new bus running every day, two or three times a day. And they got one, one bus on Thursdays to South Malden and a bus on Fridays to South Mold, uh, to Barnstable and Exeter. Now, what about the people that live in the village? There's a population of some 300, I think. Well, that's a parish, you say that there's not so many people in the, in the village itself, really, now these days, because we've got a tremendous lot of holiday cottages. We've got 10 or 11 cottages standing empty at the moment, in fact. So owned by people from outside yes, the parish? Yes, they come from up country, soon buy them up. And then they come down on their holidays nowadays. What about the rest of the people, though, the people that actually live here? What sort of things are they doing for a living? Well, they work uh, high temperature engineering into South Moulton, and, uh, and then some work to the chipboard, you see. They've got to go to South Moulton or Barnstable. Some people travel to Barnstable. And what about work. farming? That's quite important. Oh, yes, but they don't, there's no employment on farming these days, not very much. Because of the mechanisation? That's right. That's right. So what about the housing here? What sort of housing is it? I mean, describe well, the buildings. Are they old buildings? Are oh, they some, are very, some are very old, you see. And the most of the majority of the council houses are fairly old. But they've got several, what have we got? But, uh, oh, I think at the, at the moment about uh, 12, 12, 12, 14 council houses. That includes two bungalows. And the remainder of the houses, are, are, uh, some of them are old. And there are, have been some new ones put up recently. Some bungalows, quite nice. Fred, if you could sum up or tell us the ways in which village life has changed, what do you think would be the chief change or, or what's been the biggest change that you've seen during your lifetime here? Uh, after the war, you see, you got more machinery come along and then eventually horses went off the land to start with and, well, then you'd done away with your blacksmith and all that sort of business, you see. Because like every other village, it yeah. used to have the tradespeople working here. Exactly, exactly. And then the... You could buy the shoes and that cheaper in the shop, say were machine made, you see, and you'd done away with your cobblers. There used to be two or three cobblers in the village. They've been done away with. What other tradespeople were working here? I mean, we've heard there isn't a shop here at the moment. Did no, they used well, to be a baker? No, we've never had a baker, but we used to have three shops. Yes. We had three, but they just dwindled away until it was left with one. And the blacksmith you've mentioned, what, yes, what other tradespeople? Two wheelwrights, and they, they finished the same thing. You see, that finished them when the tractors come on the farm. She said they weren't wanted. Now, what about mains water or electricity coming Main, to the village? Yeah. Can you remember that? And what, yes. what was life like before electricity? Oh, it was all right. It was happy enough, you know, but you'd got to put up with oil lights and candles and all that sort of thing. It was a great boon when it did come, you see. Of course, we had, we had water for years. It used to be fed with a windmill from up high up, you see, the gravitation. And then uh, that failed, and then they put in the mains for us, brought it uphill, you say, from the bottom. Would you describe King's Nympton as an isolated sort of place? Not reasonably, but a lot of people say it is off the beaten track a bit, but I, I never look at it like that. They pass, you know, pass through, they can pass through to go to South Malton or Chumley or anywhere like that. There's, there's more life in it than what they think there is, I think. Life's pretty good, you've got, you've got to accept what you've got. You see, if you're happy in the village and all that, and you can get work and get around a bit, you can, uh, you can live here, they all manage to live here what come here, what want work, you know. They all manage to live and they live happy. And it sounds like prospects of the future are quite good with well, your new village hall. Probably, probably that might wake it up a bit, you know. Not. So bring it out of the doldrums, if there is any doldrums. If you could sum it up, what sort of place is King's Nympton to live in? A friendly place? Very, very friendly, very nice little village. Very nice and quiet. Very nice.